Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the Iconic List 3, 2, 1. And today, I'm coming to you guys with deck profile. Today's deck profile, this is three copies of the Ice Barrier Structure deck, Frozen Chains. This deck, to a lot of people, is very unplayable. Not everyone's favorite, but to me, I see it has a lot of potential. And I feel like with the right cards and right combos, I feel like anybody can win this deck. So without further ado, let's rock it. So to kick things off, we have three copies of Revealer of the Ice Barrier. This is one of the newest cards in the sets. This card says, while you control Ice Barrier Monster, your opponent cannot Tribute Summon. Uh, if anyone's ever played against Massive Restrict, you know how powerful that effect can really be. This also lets you discard one card and also Special Summon Ice Barrier Monster from your deck. It says you also can't Special Summon Monsters for the rest of the turn except Water Monsters, but the good news about this deck is you only play Water Monsters. So, it's a win-win for everybody. Next up, we have three copies of Gen X Undyne. This card says, when this is normal summon, you can send one water monster from your deck to the graveyard and add one Gen X controller from your deck, which is why we also play one Gen X controller. This is actually a pretty good combo with Wheeler itself. Uh, you can actually normal summon Gen X Undyne, normal summon it, activate its effect to send any water monster you want in there. Get the Genex controller in there, and then if you can get off the other summon of Revealer of Ice Barrier, you can pitch this card and get any other Ice Barrier on the field you need. Pretty good combo in my opinion. Next up, we have three copies of Speaker of the Ice Barrier. This is one of our big extenders of the deck. This lets you special summon it as long as you control another Ice Barrier on the field. It also has another effect that while you control Ice Barrier monster besides itself, defense position monsters your opponent control cannot change their battle positions. Doesn't always come up in every duel, but I think it's a pretty neat effect just in case your uh, opponent plays a lot of defensive mode monsters. It also lets you banish it from the graveyard or special summon one ice barrier token, which, if you know, in synchro decks is pretty powerful to be honest. Next up, we have our two of's, which we're starting off with Hexa Spirit of the Ice Barrier. His effect is while you control another ice barrier monster, your opponent controls or Eh, every monster your opponent controls loses 500 attack and defense, which isn't the biggest battle buff or take, but I think it's pretty good. He also has another effect to where you can send one level 3 or lower Ice Barrier monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, this can actually modulate to that monster's level. Which, again, in Synchro decks, is a pretty powerful effect. Coming in at our next two of, we have Prior of the Ice Barrier. If you control an Ice Barrier monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Unfortunately, he does not allow you to special summon monsters level 5 or higher for the rest of the turn. But he does have an effect to where you can actually tribute this card to target one base barrier monster in your graveyard and special summon it. And since it doesn't have a level requirement on it, you can also not a special summon your regular monsters. But you can summon any of your synchro monsters as well. Which again, is pretty good card advantage. Up next for the two ofs, we have General Wing of the Ice Barrier. This is kind of a one-sided macrocosmos, as spells and traps sent from your opponent's side of the field are banished instead of sent to the graveyard. He also has an effect to where you can special summon this card from your hand, as long as you control another ice barrier monster, which, again, very good card advantage. And if this card is normal or special summon, you can actually add one ice barrier spell or trap from your deck to your hand, which lends you more advantage. Always a good thing. The last bit of our two ups goes to our buds here, Silent Angler. Very good extenders. They actually have the effect of if you control a water monster, you can special summon this card from the hand. Unfortunately, you can't special summon any more cards from the rest of your hand of the turn you activate this effect, but this should be the last thing you activate in your hand before you do anything else on field. So other than that, I think it's a pretty good card to add to the deck. For the last of our one ups in the deck, we have both our Defender of the Ice Barrier along with our Cryomancer of the Ice Barrier. These are both tuners, which are very vital to a synchro deck. And with Defender, while you control another Ice Barrier monster, monsters your con opponent controls cannot declare attacks if their attack is greater than or equal to this card's defense. Which, again, pretty good floodgate effect. While with Cryomancer, while you control another Ice Barrier monster, level 4 or higher monsters cannot declare attack. This is actually a pretty good target for your Hexias and in general are just good for the deck's synchro summoning capabilities. Next up, we move on to our Spell and Trap lineup. We're starting things off with three copies of Freezing Chains and the Ice Barriers. 
This is the Monster Born of the deck, and has the following effect. When this card is activated, you can target one level 4 lower Ice Barrier monster from your graveyard special summon it. While you control three or more Ice Barrier monsters, Ice Barrier monsters you control are unaffected by, your, by the activated effects of your opponent's monsters that were special summoned from the extra deck. You can only activate one Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier per turn. So even if you have all three when you start off in hand, it's still good to activate back to back, especially for special summoning capabilities. Next up, we have three copies of Medallion of the Ice Barrier. This is your road of the deck. Let you add any Ice Barrier monster from your deck to your hand. Sweet, simple, and straight to the point. I like it. Next up, we have our wins over the Ice Barrier. This is a pretty goaded card right here. This lets you tribute any number of your Ice Barrier monsters, special summon from your deck, any level 4 or lower Ice Barrier monsters with different names from each other. So this is how you'd probably get into your synchro plays a lot easier if you don't have all the monsters you need on the field right now. This is a good way to substitute them into the cards you need for your synchro summoning. We also play two salvage. This lets you target two monsters, uh, two water monsters with 1500 or less attack in your graveyard and add them directly back to your hand. Always good for card advantage and to make sure you can keep cycling in and out those ice barrier monsters you really need. Finally, for the spells, we have two surface. This can target any level 3 or lower fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Again, allowing you to keep going into more and more synchro plays and card advantage upon the field. To finish things off, we run six traps. First three are three copies of Crackdown. This lets you target one face of monster your opponent controls to control that monster. Again, this is obviously great for taking advantage of card effects and also using them for synchro plays for your big synchro monsters that go burr. Finishing these things off, we have three copies of our Fiendish Chain. This card activates by targeting an effect monster on the field, negating its effects and face of monster while it's on the field. Also, the face of monster can't attack. When it's destroyed, this card is also destroyed. This is very good for stopping your monster, your opponent's monsters, who are very big or have any special effects on them. Stopping them before they can get anything done is... Very good card advantage can help you get to your next turn in order to get your synchro summons out. Finally, we move on to our extra deck. We're starting things off. Three copies of Brionic Dragon of the Ice Barrier. It has the effect that you can discard any number of cards from your hand to the graveyard, then target the same number of cards your opponent controls and pop them back into their hand. Again, it's a level six, or... Yeah, it's a level six allows you to get out pretty easily with just two monsters on the field. Also allows you to pop as many monsters as you're able to from your opponent's field back to their hand, allowing you to go in for some pretty hefty damage at 2300 attack. Next up we have Duloran, Tiger King of the Ice Barrier. You can actually return any number of face-up cards you control and this card can gain 500 attack, which makes it a pretty big beat stick. Pretty good for OTKs, FTKs, or just in general a nuisance to your opponent. We keep this train rolling with three copies of Gungnir Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Once per turn, you can discard two cards to the graveyard, then target the same number of cards from your opponent controls and destroy them. Pretty good removal, and I think can really help change the game state. And again, 2500 attack is nothing to sniff at in this game. Coming back at you guys with three of the OG Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier. You guys already know what this thing does. Once it's synchro summoned, you can banish up to one card from your opponent's hand, field, and graveyard. Very powerful effect, really good game. It was limited for a while, but now it's off the limited list and unlimited, and I think it's going to cause a lot of mayhem in the meta, and I can't wait to see. Finishing our video off today, guys, we have Trishula Zero, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. This is the newest card from the, set, from the structure deck. It requires one tuner and two non-tuner monsters. When it's synchro summoned, you can banish three cards your opponent controls. Does not target. Very important, very powerful. I like it. Once the Synchro Summon card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can actually special summon one Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier, the OG we just saw, from your extra deck or graveyard, and its attack becomes 3300 attack, then it has the attack of all the other uh, monsters your opponent controls. Guys, this deck is crazy. It has a lot of opportunity to destroy the meta, so thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate your support. As always, like, comment, share, and smash the subscribe button. This has been the Iconic List 321, signing off. Peace!